Bina Zvenit, Bina Ziva. Uh, welcome to Living in Romania. And uh, yesterday I had the good fortune to be alerted to the fact that there was a wedding going on in uh, our local area, literally 50 meters from our flat. So I went to have a look and uh, did a bit of filming. And I thought for my British viewers, uh, or for any foreign viewers, it would make it more sensible to put weddings in context and explain a little bit about of uh, what you're going to see. You're going to see about five minutes of footage uh, outside a block, apartment block. Clearly the family had invited everyone up from the country and um, neighbours and uh, the traditions of a Romanian wedding are really quite different. Uh, as, this is an Altanian wedding. Um, so uh, let me start by talking about the Christmas tree, <laughs> the fir tree or Brad de Kraichun, which is decorated and is carried um, with the procession. There is always a procession which normally goes to a fontana, uh, to a fountain where the bride and the groom or the normally I think the brother-in-law and the bride gather water normally three uh, uh, traditionally three um, fountains but um, sometimes just one so this this happened so you'll see the bride carrying a bucket of water on her travels as she processes um, the groom is shaved by his nash, by his godfather, outside. And this happened yesterday. You can see uh, the oglinda, the, the mirror. Uh, and he will be sat down and will uh, be shaved. And this is to represent uh, his departure from the ranks of bachelors into the happy uh, family of married men. Um, the veil is put on the bride outside and it was put on the bride by her nasha, by her godmother. So this is placed. And at the end of the ceremony, um, just as in England, we throw a bouquet of flowers, the bride's bouquet, to behind, over the, over the shoulder. Um, and the lucky girl who catches it will be the next one to get married. In Romania, the a uh, veil is handed on to a younger member of the family so she may be the next one to be married. Uh, bread is broken again by the nasha over the head, salted bread over the head of the of the um, bride and then is eaten by the bride and the groom. They eat at a separate table, they have separate wine and they have separate bread and they eat separately so they are distinct from the rest of the the guests and this happened uh, yesterday uh, the music is what you will hear uh, they have a band playing from a car which goes up a one-way street the wrong way doesn't matter we're in Romania and the horda various a horda are danced to and um, there are various versions of the horda. I talked about the horda in my last video from Midyash. It's a dance, quite an easy dance, and the horda is the, the traditional dance at the, at the wedding. And finally, the costume. You'll notice the, um, the uh, groom is wearing a traditional Altanian. It's a red shawl, really, which is tucked into his belt. Um, and sometimes there's a different type of shawl called the uh, Chiorec. Uh, sorry, Chiorec. Uh, I'll show you the colours because I have one here, which I should have prepared earlier. Sorry about that. So these are the traditional colours uh, from Otenia, and he wears it asha like this. And uh, you will see this also in the in the video. Um, then the bride and bridegroom, having poured the water on the ground, I think, uh, proceed to the church. 
where they will have crowns, gold crowns, placed upon them, and the religious ceremony will happen. Um, so it's very different, and um, at the ceremony, uh, there is, uh, you're given a, an envelope, click, and you put money in. And the money is to be spent by the bride or groom as they wish. And most brides and grooms very sensibly spend it on either furniture if they already have an apartment or a deposit for an apartment if they don't. Um, so everything is based on money. What I didn't tell you is uh, the, the ancient tradition, I don't know if it happened here because I wasn't there to capture it, is that the groom arrives at the apartment or the house and pays money to come in and um, basically buy the, the bride. Um, the bride is stolen and he buys her back. Um, if I've got any of these details wrong, and I'm sure I have, and I do apologise because I'm fairly new to this, um, do please put a comment uh, below and uh, correct me. Uh, but this is what I saw yesterday. I hope you enjoy watching it. Um, I hope you enjoy uh, the, um, uh, the ceremony that you will see. And uh, I wish the bride and groom every possible success. Casa de Piatra, as we say, House of Stone. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the music. So a classic Romanian wedding here near our block. Bride and groom outside. They've been dancing. include a Christmas tree <laughs> which is normally hung with bread, a bucket of water and there go the bride and groom. And they're from this block so it's all been decorated. And they walk with the bucket, which also usually has money in, in it, and the band are following them. <laughs> uh, but I don't think the band realise this is a one-way street. Oh yes, they do. 
been shaved. It's another tradition. He's shaved outside and they're processing presumably to the church. Uh, So I hope you enjoyed that. A little flavour of life in Kryova. Uh, life on the street. And everyone in the family will have come in from the uh, country. The neighbours. And uh, it will go on all day and all night. 